Hi Fazzle, this is Fazzle, back with another YouTube video. Fazzle Dazzle! Instead of going to try something different, as you know, last week two big things happened. A, I went clothes shopping, and B, it was my birthday, so I decided to combine these two things together and do a Primark slash birthday haul! Woo! So first I'm going to go through my Primark stuff. Wednesday I went shopping to Primark, I had a £50 gift card for there off of them for Christmas. Everything I bought here comes about £57, but I will save individual prices if I can remember them. I say Primark say it's a basic everyday stuff, and I tend to go there for to buy that sort of stuff, and, and tend to buy my nice um, clothes from somewhere else. This video is not sponsored by Primark, or can you see this video are off my own. But because I'm such a small YouTuber, that should be obvious by now, because you won't know Primark sponsor me. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing I bought is um, two pairs of jerkins. I'm getting low on trousers, so I thought I'd better go and buy some more, and I did. I assumed the camera was straight back up because I thought it might be better to show off the stuff. The first thing I bought is these grey jerkins in a size 12, so that's who I am. And I just love them. I also bought them in white because I like white trousers. I don't know why I do. I tend to have fairly um, dark depressing colours in my wardrobe. Buying light grey to white bits so kind of um, brightens in my wardrobe a bit. I bought jeggings so I find jeggings a lot more comfortable than actual jeans. And same with leggings. So if I wardrobe, you see jeggings and leggings so I find so much more comfortable. And they tend to fit better than actual leggings, I find. So plus, I think jeggings are tend to be cheaper. Both for these pairs are six pound each. Well, I think jeans are usually around ten pound mark. Next, I bought some t-shirts. Just some basic t-shirts I find because I find you can never have too many basic t-shirts because they because they make great things to wear and do like jackets and coats, cardigans and stuff. Like I'm wearing right now. I bought three. The first one I bought is this one. I don't know if you can see. I might be assuming the camera in back now. But that's better. Right, the first one I bought is this um, camo green t-shirt and it has, I don't see it, it has deep fly symbols. It has these cute little butterflies on it, so I fell in love with this um, colour. I don't think the camera's not being justice, because trust me, the camera's making it look like a very dull green, but it's a lot more pretty than that, trust me. The second t-shirt I bought, the pink t-shirt with girl power on it. So my inner feminist is very happy with that one. And the last t-shirt I bought, and probably my favourite one, is this white one with like a French bulldog, I believe it is, isn't it? And underneath it, I'm going to have to see in the camera really close to this, because I don't think you can see it. It says, excuse my friend. This one's my personal favourite. I love dogs, and I love the fact that there's a French bulldog underneath. It's got a piece of French, I think that's amazing. Doing this about t-shirts as well, so I forgot to mention, is I think they can last a long time. Because what happens is I wear them as my everyday clothes when I was and about. Until they start to be quite old and a bit worn out. And then I tend to use them as workout t-shirts and PJs. So it tends to last quite a while. The only thing I would say is I find Primark t-shirts tend to shrink. So I tend to buy them in a size or two above. I'm usually a size 10 to 12 in t-shirts, but I've had to buy these in a 14 because they do wall shrink. And for if I buy them size 2 up, so you normally would, then they'll last a bit longer. Each t-shirt costs £2.50 each, which probably explains why they shrink, but I mean, they're still good value. I also bought four basic t-shirt bars. I've got a black one, a white one, I also bought a news one. News t-shirt bars are in central because they fit under everything and you can wear them pretty much under any article of clothing no matter what the colour is or how tight it is and they tend not to show up which I think is amazing and I also bought this um, cameo lace one which as I said earlier about the t-shirts is I fell in love with and I think and I think the pic pattern on it is really pretty but I don't think the camera's doing it justice. I also bought two pairs of shoes. The first pair of shoes are these beautiful black um, pumps with the black with some pretty like a flower lace lacy sign on if you can see that and on top they've got like a lovely little bow and the second pair I bought are uh, Ugg boots I think are an essential for the winter months as they are very warm and um, comfortable which is perfect for February which tends to be really icy and frosty I can't remember the price for the flat but I know the Ugg boots were about fibre if that is you wanted to know the last thing I bought from Primark is this bag like a very light brown colour which I think is called a cappuccino I don't know if you can tell in the towel because the lighting is making it look weird but it's, got, it's a cappuccino uh, colour 
and inside is complete black. There's a zip there with a little pouch so you can store anything that might be too small and might get lost in the bag easily like keys and on this side is you've got these two little pouches to store a lot of things in. See I've got my passport in this one. There's also this handle here so you carry your hands or on your arms if you want. There's also a bag strap which is removable but I have not yet removed it so I swear to bear my bag on my shoulder. I love this bag, it's amazing. The only thing I would say is that but the zips are a bow gold. I'm not a big fan of those gold. I mean they much worse than to be a gold or silver but the nerve voice the bag is perfect and there's a little boy gold in just my bottom And now for my birthday haul. I'm Friday to February and I'm trying to see. The first one I got is this beautiful scarf which I absolutely love. It's really fluffy and warm. It's lightweight and it's like frilly. There we go. It's got a lovely little pattern. It's lovely all like frilly bit. I'm not a fan of people buying me clothes because people tend to buy me stuff that don't fit or I just don't like. But my mum did a really good job of it because this is something I would actually um, wear and if I saw it in the shop I'd probably buy it because I absolutely love it. This is my sort of thing. So well done mum. Um, my mum also got me these pyjamas. This is normal white t-shirt with I think there's a bow actually on it. Oh yeah there's a bow. I didn't realise that. These grey um, pyjama bottoms that you can see with like white stars on. A little bow there. So the best thing about these pyjamas is these little slippery socks slipper sock things. And then they're so adorable. They're basically matching the trousers. They match the trousers with their grey with white stars and they've got a little bow. They're slightly too small for me but it's a really good idea because they have to keep your feet warm at night, especially in these cold winter months. I also got some socks for my birthday. I find once you get to a certain age, or everyone buys you a sock. This is purple with a black cat on it, which says black cat underneath. And this one's a bright pink with just cats everywhere. Something else I got is this really um, sweet jar. But in fact, all the sweets up here, I'm going to keep the jar because I love it. It's called Sweet Shop Metro, uh, Retro Mix. And it has really wet to sweet this, you've got power, uh, marshmallows, got these banana things, you've got fine sauces, although I think I've ate all the fine sauces now, but there's loads of sweet little happy sweets and they're really nice. Whilst well, not on sweets, I also got this massive bar of caviar milk. As you can see, it is amazing. As you can see, I've ate quite a bit of it, although look at that, I've still got a long way to go. I'm trying to pick myself because if I eat all this one go, we'll get sh sh uh, sugar coma and die. So I'm trying to pick myself on it. Cabbage chocolate is my favourite chocolate, so it's that's very hard. My sister also got me um, a cabbage chocolate. Cabbage chocolate is probably one of my favourite, if not favourite anime. So I'm going to have a little bit of 